Hello. Yeah. Is this 911? 911, what's the address of your emergency? Uh, you, are we on? Are we on? Are you on? Are you on that? Are you on that? Yes, dang it. On October 3rd, 2019, in Eth, Oklahoma, Brent Parks stopped for a train to cross the road. His caretaker, Tina Springer, was in the passenger seat of the vehicle. Parks Yellow Lab was in the back seat of the vehicle, which has a folding center console. A 22 caliber handgun was under the console. While they were stopped for the train, the dog jumped from the back seat onto the console, causing the gun to discharge and hitting Tina Springer in the left eye. At this point, Brent Parks calls 911. I'm passing out, sir. This, this way. Are you? Are you Hi. I need 911. I need some help. This is 911. Where are you at? Uh, we're down here at this uh, railroad track. Okay, on, uh, on 10th Street? Is it 10th Street? You're just north of the railroad tracks? Yes. Yes, 10th Street. On the north side, 10th Street. Okay. She had, to, she had to, uh, she, or she, she's bleeding pretty bad. What happened? And we're right just down here at the track. What happened? Well, a, gu a gun went off. She, she shot her herself? In, got her in the leg. She shot herself? No, she didn't do it herself. Who shot but, her? Well, it, it just went off. I had a Who dog had, in there. <laughs> Okay, hold we on. A, we had a dog hold, in here and he stepped hold, on the gun. Hold on, I'm going to transfer over to life. Don't hang up the phone. I don't feel good. Well, just wait a little bit there. They'll be here in a minute. Nobody's going to help me. Emergency ambulance. What's the address? I don't feel good. I don't feel good. 1600 North 10th Street for a medical emergency. In Grass Rig 2, respond with life. Have you got an ambulance coming? Ambulance is on the line, sir. Can you speak to her about the gunshot wound and tell her where it's at? Okay, we're down here at this railroad crossing on uh, 10th. 10th Street. This will be at 1600 North 10th Street. It's going to be for a female gunshot wound, unknown location. Is the gun <laughs> <laughs> sir, can you hear life? Do what now? Where is she shot at, sir? In the leg, above the knee. In the leg? In the leg, but she's bleeding pretty bad. Where's the gun? It's in my pickup. Where is she? She's in my pickup. I need hand. you to put the gun someplace where it can be safe. It, it's safe. It's safe. But the dog went and stepped on it and it went the, off. The dog shot her? Yeah. He stepped on it and it went off. But anyway, just get an ambulance out here. Sir, can you speak to the ambulance? I need to know how old she is. Dying. How old is she? How old are you? 34. 34. 34. 44. 44 years old. I gotta lay down. Have... I gotta lay down. Hey, let me lay down. Okay, when did this happen? Just about three, three minutes ago or two. God. But she's bleeding pretty bad. Ah, okay, is she completely alert? Well, she's alert, but she's getting the get, she's losing blood bad. Okay, you said her leg was injured. Oh my God. Her leg is injured. Yeah. It hurts. Got a gunshot to it. Okay, is there more than one wound? No, just one wound. Yeah, we're broken pelvis. When they move me, you can't get me to help you now. So I'm on the line, and I'll tell you exactly what to do next. Help me. Hey. Do you have something you can tie around her leg? It's so hard. Well, Al, I'm, try I'm trying to find something to wrap around her leg. It's so hard. She's screaming and all this shit. Uh, I can't tie nothing around her leg. Can't get to anything to tie around her leg. Okay, do you have a clean, dry cloth? If I had a clean, dry cloth, it'd already been on there, ma'am. But, let me see. Sometimes, sometimes uh, I can take my belt off, maybe, and wrap around the head of it. Okay, do that. But, 
I can't I can't find any of my any of my uh Are you wearing a belt? Ready? I I've got a belt on, yeah. Then take it off and tie it around her leg, please. Above it? Above the wound. All right. Take my belt off and put it around her leg above the wound. Whatever. I'm gonna push it up to the stupidest goddamn thing I ever heard about for Hannah. Oh, they just took you straight on in myself. Just to get the found it. They're just that to get, get it up around. Yeah, it. Yeah, through the belt. Okay, tell me when the tourniquet yeah, was flying. Enough to, from above it. Huh? Right above it? Yeah. Can you get it through work and get it? Yeah, do it, Brent. Oh, Molly, you're the one to pull that trigger. Don't give me no shit. I'm sorry. She's gonna check and he's checking you out. God damn it. Stop! Can you raise yourself up a little bit? Ah. Here, this is ah. I've got you. Come on, i got you. I don't feel good. Well, you're working, but it's not there in a life death situation. Yeah, it's in it. Oh, that's pretty tight, ain't it? Yeah. Okay, have you got the tourniquet on? Maybe. I can come around there and put your leg up. I cannot believe nobody's come in here to help. Huh? Nobody wants to help? You want me to? I want you to get some help. Well, we're getting help. We're supposed to be coming. And I thought I'd seen them get up over there a while ago. I don't feel good. You must fall, oh, God damn it. You ain't going to feel good. So what you need to do is you oh. Oh, come off of it. Brent? You're tougher than that, I know. God damn it. I don't fucking want me for my own damn. You just, this is not cool. I'm going to back around and take your damn off. I can't. Stop. Yeah. Ah. Oh, it sounds like a face. God damn it, that don't help. It hurts. Well, it might hurt, but I ain't gonna help. My tummy hurts. I'm Let me shut the door and I'll take you down there to St. Mary's. Where you want to go? I can't. I'll take you to the house. I can't. Now. Oh, but I can't. Stop. Don't say you can't. You can't. Put man. it in part. Go out and shut the damn door then. I'll go around and check. Oh, God damn it, do it. Here, Lord, have a Help me, please. Oh. Hey, don't go. Please don't go. When paramedics arrived to rush Tina to the hospital, she had surgery and was expected to be okay. Police say Molly, the dog, got spooked when she heard the train pass, so she jumped from the back seat onto the center of the vehicle. The pistol was underneath the console, and the force of Molly's landing set the gun off. Molly is back home, and her family promises to keep her away from trains in the future. Police also said they found three shell casings inside of the truck, but they couldn't confirm just how many shots Molly fired. There's a killer dog. Well, he didn't kill nobody. But. It's a 911 call so bizarre, even the Enid dispatcher had trouble believing it. 44 year old Tina Springer in the passenger seat with a gunshot wound through her leg, screaming for help. 79 year old Brent parks behind the wheel on the phone with police. Turns out Molly's paw pulled the trigger. Molly, settle down. Molly, a seven month old Labrador retriever. Police say the dog was spooked and jumped from the back seat onto the center console while they were waiting for a train to pass. Under that console, a loaded 22 caliber pistol. The force setting off the gun and Springer taking a bullet to her left thigh. What seemed like an eternity, the two wait for an ambulance. The pain so terrible, the dispatcher then walks Parks through making a makeshift tourniquet a piece of clothing right off of his body. Finally, paramedics arrived. Springer rushed to St. Mary's Hospital in Enid. Doctors say she will be there through the weekend. As for Molly, she's back at home, and the family vows to steer clear of trains in the future.